Dark Winter Color Palette How to integrate it into your wardrobe and what fits your skin perfectly. Dark Winter is a conglomeration of cool and frosty Canadian nights with the darkest palette that also brings softness and pastel charms. It's a transitional jump from autumn into winter that still preserves the richness of autumn and the sharpness of the coolest winter nights. And let's not forget that it's still a dark winter color palette, so its prerogative is a cool undertone. Even though it is bright and rich in colors, the most predominant feature is dark that can be blended in well with more saturated autumn colors. Characteristics of dark winter color palette your colors might deviate a little. After all, it's a cold season that is during the transitional jump. If you are a dark winter, your features will speak for themselves and the most dominant color you will notice will always be dark. You are not the light summer type with golden blonde hair and soft blue eyes. You are a dark winter with deep, dark, glossy hair and dark, mesmerizing eyes. You are a dark winter if you have a cool appearance overall, and you are a most definitely aware that cold colors and undertones suit you better than warm and soft ones. It's effortless to make a test with jewelry. Just take something golden and something silver covered and put it right near your face. I, for example, put one gold earring on the left and one silver one to the right. And I will definitely say that golden earrings has the tendency to suit me and my skin much better than silver ones, because gold has a yellow, warmer undertone and silver one is cold. My skin naturally has a yellow undertone, so warm palette will suit me a little bit better than silver one. For you it's vice versa. How to find out if your skin type is warm or cold? That is really easy to do. The fastest way to understand what your main type is to face yourself in the mirror and play around with gold and silver jewelry. For example, if you see that you have a slightly pinkish skin undertone and silver earring suits you better, you are a cold type. If you have olive shaded skin and gold jewelry suits you better, you are a warm type. You do have a sharp appearance color-wise, but it's not completely true when technical resources say that your features appear somewhat toned down. There are people with grayish appearance, but their eyes definitely stand out. So your true colors are cool and sharp, somewhat screaming, but if, if you add perfect color to your features, or at least one of them, those will definitely create a balance. With the right palette, your features will be enhanced. It might be true that the contrast between your skin, eyes and hair is highly contrasted, but the important thing is that a usual person that reads these statements will not be able to identify the contrast. It's difficult to figure out which chroma hue and contrast your own appearance has. And my advice to you is not to put so much attention to these technicalities and just go along with a simpler explication of what your true palette is. The features of Dark Winter color palette Eyes Dark winter eyes are cool and color combinations can vary from cold to medium olive. These are dark olive, dark hazel, hazel, medium hazel, brown and black. Skin Skin can be from fair to well tanned. It is predominantly cool in an undertone, but since it's mixed with an autumn color palette, silver and gold will suit you well. Hair Dark winter hair is always dark like black and deep brunette. However, there might be a slight deviation like medium dark copper. There wouldn't be any sunlight or highlights since there is no room for a summer vibe. Dark winter or dark autumn? 
dark winter is also associated with autumn's richness colors and sometimes people get confused by it. To be more precise between those two palettes, you need to know that dark winter has a sharp, easily visible contrast between the darkness and saturation of hair, eyes, and paleness or darkness of skin. Since it's winter, it is cool in the undertone. Dark autumn is warm in undertone and all of the features blend in together with less of a contrast. All of the autumn colors are mixed into one composition with softness and it looks sort of grayed down, while winter is definitely sharp and crispy. A very vivid example would be Kate Dennings, that you see a clear contrast that appears to be very evident. The hair is dark that almost clashes with the whiteness of the fair skin. Her lips are always dark red that stands out from her eyes even more. If you pay closer attention, you will see that her outfit choice is always dark, deep and vivid. There are almost no soft summer colorings at all. The other example is Natalie Portman which looks like a vivid transition from autumn into winter. Her appearance is more subtle and soft that incorporates autumn warmness, but still her outfits blend well with her dark winter palette. Her overall look is high in contrast. Even though her skin might look tanned, it is still very slight, creating an incongruity with summer types. Dark winter is the palette that brings on the magic of the cold night somewhere in Paris, for example, the bright lights alluring through the Eiffel Tour while the stars are brimming in the skies. The wind is apparent in the air, bringing the harshness of reality. Everything becomes mystic and almost a fairy tale like when you hear champagne popping in the middle of the street. The night has never been better and the colorful lights never been brighter. The winter vibe brings high contrast between the hustle during the night and the stillness of the morning. The early time of the day brings peace and no harm. Only gray pastel shades blend in with off-white dullness. The palette of dark winter. How to understand dark winter color palette? It has already been indicated that the dark winter color palette has high contrast. You can clearly see how fair the skin of an actress is. Black hair creates a rough outline and sharp edgy end. The eyes are brown with a cold undertone. It's highly contrasted appearance and if you look similar, you are definitely a dark winter. How to mix and match a dark winter color palette in your wardrobe? In technical fashion materials, it is being stated that, that you should only combine colors from one color palette that belongs to your skin tone. So colors that work for winter palette should only be chosen from a palette given to you. As harsh and way too bright or cold colors, warm colors can create an undesirable effect on the skin, especially if you have a sharp appearance, but that is right on the contrary for you, because sharp colors are just right for you. I have already mentioned that warmer colors can still be used for the lower body. The main center is always facial zone, which attracts the most attention, so you mainly need to concentrate on the face and the decolletage zone with your cheek. You have to understand that even if you use all the right combinations in your upper and lower body, it will be color correct for your skin, but still might be unflattering if your body shape is not a perfect hourglass shape. Especially it concerns those that have an ampler body like a pear body shape. So that would mean that crispy white pants will not be the best choice for your bottom line because they can make you look even bigger than you actually are. And this is what we are trying to avoid when constructing the perfect wardrobe specifically for you. I would highly advise you to check out the articles written by me under this video down below. 
when it concerns each and every body shape and how to construct the perfect capsule wardrobe for each of them. Keep head down this video to check your perfect capsule wardrobe. Styling for dark winter color palette. Neutrals. Dark winter is the original winter season. As such, the palette contains both true black and white. You also have dark blues and browns, which you can use as dark neutrals. On the other note, black and white is the classic dark winter combination and will look truly striking on you. Colors to avoid for dark winter color palette. We have already established that in order to enhance your beauty, you need to use cold and rich colors in your wardrobe. Yellow or golden tones will look unflattering on you and you'd rather keep away or use them in smaller accessories like bags or belts. Patterns or prints for dark winter color palette. Patterns are usually used for upper body garments like blouses, sweaters, summer dresses. People rarely wear trousers with patterns. Most likely blatant colors are being used. As a dark winter type, you can wear prints, but those would have to be in the right color palette for you. If you see a patterned fabric, you need to concentrate on the primary color of the whole garment. There might be blue flowers on white, but you need to figure out which color is primary here. It's primarily white that is basic here, so you need to see if that primary color is from your dark winter color palette, so your white needs to be crispy white. It's believed that dark winter needs to use high contrast. You might still go for lower level contrast, which would be right for you as well. However, there is always a solution if you didn't find anything from this guide. Jewelry for dark winter color palette. How you could fix your non-perfect colored look with just one thing. It's a necklace and for me it's always pearls. Be mindful that pearls need to fit your skin color perfectly. When you put something like a pearl necklace on your neck, you create a rough separation between the wrong color for your skin and the necklace. So the chain is going to be the primary color reflector for your skin color. For example, I have a purple dress that does not really fit my skin color and my face tends to look a little bit tired with it. And you know it, especially if you have blue eye bags in the morning. It doesn't make me look the best, so I create a cut between the color and my face with a pearl necklace that perfectly fits my skin. So the jewelry becomes the first color reflector near my face. Check out the article on how to wear a pearl necklace and where to buy the best down below this video. As stated between gold and silver, I'd recommend silver as it's cold enough for your skin tone. Gold is appropriate if it was mixed with silver and looks primarily cool toned. Pearls need to be a bright white color as it matches your complexion perfectly. You can even use colorful plastic big earrings of vibrant shades just like Samantha from the Saxony City used to wear. Thank you so much for staying here with me. I hope this information was useful for you, so please don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and see you in the next episode.